Hi there, and welcome to The Dough Show for Wednesday, March the 6th, 2019. I'm Ferris Fair. I'm Bambi Detris. And, and we're dragging, dragging our, our heels. We have another exciting episode for you today, so let's get right into it. Uh, it was another busy weekend here in the Edmonton drag and burlesque mm -hmm. community. Uh, we made it out to five shows to record some videos for you all. We didn't make it to everything. There were some other shows, including Ivy Leagues and, yeah, and a few others that we missed. didn't make it to because we ran out of people that could film. But yeah, we, everybody who could film for us was in the <laughs> show. Exactly. So we did make it to the five shows, as I said, which resulted in 60 plus new videos for you guys on the channel. And we hope by now that you are already checking some of them out. But for those of you that have not done so, let's do a quick review of some of the videos that are now up on our channel. There's so much drag in this city, we couldn't contain it to the weekend. So this week's drag journey started out on a Thursday at Yellowhead Brewery with Imani's anti-Valentine's Day show. Uh, sure did. I was there. Actually, I was there with Lady Tenderflake. Thank you. Um, we had a really good time. Uh, it was the first time that Imani had hosted a show there, and full disclosure, Imani actually works there during the day. That's her day job. Uh, so it was kind of extra cool to see her living her full life at, you know, yeah. around her co-workers <laughs> and stuff like that. It was fun. Uh, it was a decent crowd, and uh, the ones that were there were sure having a good time, and damn, they was tipping. So, uh, yeah, it was, it was a really good show. Um, congratulations to Imani. Uh, her mother, Sister Mary Clarence, was also kind of a co-host and was helping her out a bit and stuff like that. So she did some really fun numbers as well. Yeah. And she was up to her usual hijinks and antics. <laughs> it was fun. Um, so she did some performances, which were really cool. Andrew Ginny was there, Pheromone Kills, and a personal favorite of ours, uh, Mona Moore was there from Toronto for a special appearance and did a couple of numbers. And yeah. Woo, girl. Like her. <laughs> she got some new butt pads or something, and yeah, damn, yeah. Anyway, uh, congratulations to Mona, congratulations to Imani on yet another uh, fantastic, fun time. So yeah, I hope that there will be more from Imani at the Yellowhead Brewery. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge if anybody watches this. On Friday at Evolution Wonder Lounge, the Anne's journey continued with the second Edmonton preliminary round. Um, I was in that one. Yeah, you were. Ivy League was in that one. Sephoria was in that one. There were a bunch of us. Uh, there was. There were six competitors that were up on Friday, and uh, each of them did some really interesting numbers. It was fun. Um, as you said, you were, you were in the show and uh, really put on a kind of darker performance that caught many of us off guard. Uh, but yeah, it was very powerful, and, 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 and uh, um, yeah, well... Anyway, I was proud. <laughs> <laughs> uh, as you said, Ivy League did a really cool number. Yeah, um, she did some Broadway. Mm -hmm. Chanel Couture came for her Evo debut, which was fun to see. Um, uh, Sephoria did a Satanic Sacrifice, mm -hmm. uh, killing creme brulee on stage. Which was really a kind of an extra added bonus. <laughs> 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 Justice for Cat. No, just kidding. <laughs> uh, also, Kelly Elatrix came and did a wonderful performance. And if you have been a longtime viewer of the Dragging Our Heels show, you will know that actually Kelly's performance of Never Enough is a previous winner of my pick of the week so uh for me it was Ooh. extra special to get to see it again and i know for uh when i looked around at a bunch of the people that had never seen it before i saw a whole bunch of tears and yeah, stuff so there were people who'd never seen it before yeah so uh it was it was really cool to uh to have so many people get to experience that for the first time and then we also had uh lucian le pearl make mm -hmm. their dragging our heels debut which was super cool to see um, a drag king in the competition as well. Yeah. Um, so yeah, congratulations to all six for coming and banging it out. Results wise, um, three of the six did make it through. So congratulations to Ivy League, Sephora, Lucian La Pearl on making it through. Um, and also announced that evening was the, the wild, wild card. card. The wild card spot, which took the scores from the first round mm -hmm. and the second round, and whoever got a higher 
whoever got the next highest score. Exactly. Whoever would just missed getting through the the closest. Yes. So congratulations to Kelly Elatrix for being the winner of the wild card. Uh, the wild card position is kind of extra special in the community, so we hope that uh, you go all the way, girl. Uh, have a great time for all of the contestants coming up on March 29th for the Anne semifinals featuring Stacy Lane Matthews. It's going to be good. As I said in the beginning, it was a super busy weekend, and there was actually three shows going on on Saturday night. Uh, we managed to make it to two. First of which was the Show Us Your Newbies show at Evolution Wonder Lounge. Um, it was hosted by uh, Ruby Ray with featuring Misty Mirage, and the whole event was produced by Lily Minx. You filmed that one. Tell us about the show. Yeah, like like you said, um, Ruby Ray hosted. I thought she did a good job at hosting, yeah. kept the show moving at a reasonable pace, and um, the headliner was Misty Mirage. She did she did so good on her two numbers, so commending to that. And um, special highlight of the show, for Doe at least, we had a Doe debut mm -hmm. with, in the form of Miss Indecisive Yay! doing her uh, burlesque number. And I talked to her afterwards and she had a really good time. And so congratulations to Miss Indecisive mm -hmm. on your debut. I uh, also want to do a shout out to my girl, Darla Darwin. I absolutely love that. Star Wars, I Will Survive number, so mm -hmm. congratulations on, on again killing it. Um, check out the videos from all of those performers. They are up and ready for your viewing now on Dragging Our Heels. And don't forget, there's another Show Us Your Newbie show coming up next month, so be looking for that as well. On Saturday at the Coral Plaza, our intrepid videographer Dean slash Gemini was hosting their very first show called the Basic Bitch Bash. Basic Bitch Bash. That's a mouthful, Dean. <laughs> uh, all accounts, it was a really fun show. Uh, there were some performances by Indigo and JBR and Daisy May Swallow and Sushi and, of course, Gemini, I think. So, uh, yeah, we actually haven't even seen them yet. We're working on the video. We're uh, working on the videos. Yeah. We just got deliverance of them. Yes, they're actually unzipping on the computer right now. So uh, we haven't even seen this. We can't tell you about them at all. They but can't. by the time this dough show goes up, we'll have those on the channel for your viewing pleasure. Exactly. So definitely be checking out the videos from the first ever Basic Bitch Bash. On Sunday at Evolution Wonder Lounge was a very special episode of the Sunday Review. An all-king show called Call Me Daddy, hosted by Colin Bay, sort of co-hosted by Harvey Steele. Uh, you were in the audience while I was in the DJ booth. What did you think? Uh, Colin and Harvey did a wonderful job at hosting. Mm. Uh, we saw performances with Indigo and Simon Surreal. We saw Bravo Charlie with sunglasses at night. Mm -hmm. We saw Dixon Cunts. Uh, so many wonderful performances. They were so good. Yeah, it was a really good show. Uh, I quite enjoyed the, the trio that I dubbed BKS. For, Bay Cunts Steel. For Bay Cunts and Steel. Yeah, I, uh, they did Bang Bang, which was a lot of fun. Yeah. Uh, also, um, a certain legend... Vanity Fair came into the building and she was all dolled up. So Harvey, of course, asked the audience, what do you think? Do you think Vanity should do a number? And Vanity was like, no, 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 no. And, she, and he's like, no, like, do you think she should do a number? And like, the place erupted. So Vanity, being the sport that she is, uh, came into the DJ booth and we found her a number and then she uh, ended up going out there and banging out Work It again. So uh, yeah, thank you, Vanity, for, for joining the All King Show. <laughs> <laughs> Um, there was also some tip spots and stuff like that, but it was a good show. Um, congratulations to Colin. It was such a good show and had such a good crowd and response that we're already... Well, we're having oh. a second one. Oh, we're all, like, do tell. Yeah, the tea is up. We're, we're having a second one. So uh, congratulations to them. That is coming, I believe, at the first weekend in June. So look for that event coming soon. Um, I've already been talking to uh, Colin about some of the cast and stuff like that, so I'm excited. It's gonna be good. Um, that really 
is about it for videos that are up on the channel for us yeah, from this past that weekend. we have filmed. But before you go check all those out, we want to tell you about what's coming up next weekend. Coming up this next weekend is another busy one here in the Edmonton scene. And as of this moment, we actually have four events that we are going to be at. So uh, look for us out this weekend. And we hope to see you out on Friday at Evolution Wonder Lounge for Violet Jotchke. Uh She was supposed to be there, of course, for um, Anne's and then couldn't make it. But they were able oh, yes. to figure out a different date for her. So we are super excited to see Violet Chotchkey there. Um, I think it's like 90 well it's more than 90 percent sold out i think the last post i saw as of again as of this was there was 10 tickets left or something ridiculous so uh yeah it is pretty much sold out so if you want to go if you're watching this go to that link right now and then come back to this <laughs> uh there's also going to be some uh local performers performing mm -hmm. with her including andrew Ginny and ivy lee and the wonderful cherry monroe mm -hmm. i do love her and the winner of Edmonton's Burlesque Superstar, Sybil Santana, is yes. going to be opening for us. It's going to be a really great show. So uh, we hope to see you out on Friday at an evening with Violet. Yeah. On Saturday at On the Rocks, No Variety is happening yet again. And it's going to be another fantastic show. This one is not hosted actually by No Vagina. She is out of town with some family stuff. But Melinda Verga is going to step in as uh, she has definitely performed with the No Variety series before. Uh, it's going to be a really good time. Uh, JBR is going to be there. Vivian Vanguard is going to be representing the burlesque community and many more, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. We've got a live singer. Thank you, by the way, for stepping out of the spotlight and allowing someone else. We've got Nava doing a live singing for that show. Exactly. I, when when Travis, I because I'm always working on Saturdays now, there's no way I can really be a part of the series anymore. And so, uh, yeah, she was the first name that came to my mind. So I'm super excited for, for that. And uh, yeah, I'm excited to check out the videos myself because I'm going to be across town at Evolution Wonder Lounge for the Emperor's birthday party. The Imperial Sovereign Court of the Wild Rose is putting on a fun sounding event that uh, all the performers are going to be performing a song that was popular in the year that they were born. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be a huge mixture of all kinds of genres and songs and it's going to be a really good time. Um, I'm not sure as to who's performing or hosting or I'm assuming maybe David Dragon or David Dragon is yeah. hosting. There's really nothing in the event, so I'm not 100% sure. It did say that if you are interested in performing, you should contact them because contact. it is an open show. Coming up this Sunday is another very special episode of the Sunday Review. The Doe Show! Hosted by a certain Ferris Fair and... Bambi. <laughs> uh, it's going to be a really good time. Uh, we have put together an absolutely stellar cast of performers. Um including our own Dragging Our Heels crew. Uh, we have Miss Indecisive, we have Gemini, and we have, in a very rare appearance, Robin Starfish. It's true. It's true. Uh, we also might do a little something. As I said, we have put together a fantastic cast of performers, including Davina Dyfor, Cat Marlo Menora, Twiggy, Ivy League, Melinda Verga, Carrie DeWay, Godiva, Christy Healy, and Chelsea fucking horrendous. <laughs> and Tequila Mockingbird. Yes! It's going to be a fantastic show. Um, you definitely do not want to miss this one. So, uh, plus with the fact with all of the crew being in the show, I don't know whether it's going to end up getting filmed. So, <laughs> you definitely want to be there so that you can see all of those fabulous numbers going down. Because it's not even just that it's those performers, but we have forced them to all do brand new songs. There is zero repeats. Oh. And we have also been super pushy with a bunch of them. And we actually have them doing personal selected songs by us. Uh, so it should be a really fun show. So let me get this straight. Dragging our heels took creative control, gave these bitches songs to do, numbers to do, and no repeats. No, no repeats allowed. No repeats. It's going to be a fun time. I don't have full control over the song list. 
I am mildly nervous about certain performances. <laughs> no, it's going to be a fantastic show. Uh, I, uh, yeah, and I'm just, I'm looking forward to just, you know, hosting our very first Sunday review. Yeah. Because we've been in the game for five years now, coming yeah. up, and we have never hosted a show together, you and I. Well, here's the truth of the matter. We've never asked to host a show before. You know what I mean? Um, and I just, you know, I think that's good. I, I felt like I wanted to wait till we were ready. Yeah. <laughs> Novel. Anyway, um, it's going to be a fantastic time. We hope to see you out. Um, yeah, and as I said, bring your phones, because that might be the only way we're going to see this film. <laughs> uh, really, I think that's about all of the things we have. That's coming up. That's coming up. If only there was something else we had to talk about. We can always talk about our picks of the week. Good idea. <laughs> That's a great idea. Novel idea. Novel idea. I'll go first. Okay. I'm going to choose from Friday, from mm. Anne's. I'm choosing Ivy League Suspended Animation. Mm -hmm. oh, it was such a good Broadway number. She had a couple of good looking background dancers. Didn't hurt. Um, it was stupid good, girl. Stupid good. Like, uh, I was saying to Bambi that it was just, it was, it was the epitome of what, to me, like, those kind of group numbers need to be. You had background dancers to a degree, but they were a part of the act when they needed to be. They were right there for you. Like, they, I don't know, I, it was, it was a wonderful number. It was so obviously put together and choreographed and practiced and, Congratulations. <laughs> it was it was stupid good. Um, pick of the week for me. Um, there was a couple that tickled my fancy this week. I will admit that. Um, but the one that I am going to go with, if you are ready for it, is Bambi Dextrous. Yeah. Um, out of all the drag that I saw, and I, I may be a little bam biased, but um, out of all the drag that I saw, which was, as I say, a lot, a 60 lot, videos, sixty videos, reason. five shows over the past, uh, the most, the most passionate um, performance that I saw out of that entire time, and I think that it was. Uh, it was just super cool to see that evolution on stage on Friday in front of all those people. Um, I was so proud of you. And uh, yeah, for me, it deserves pick of the week. Well, thank you. Mm -hmm. So those videos are all up online, so you can check those out. That's probably enough of our yapping for uh, one episode. So. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, do all those things that make do it those easier things. for our videos to get shown so that it can show more spotlight onto our fantastic drag community. Um, I think that's about it. As always, thank you for watching. Thanks for watching. Bye! Bye.